hello students how are you students today we are going to make 3d realistic banana drawing for that first of all I have to sketch out the banana and for drawing the banana I will move the pencil very lightly because for doing watercolor I need to draw the sketch very lightly so that while doing the coloring the line should not be highlight so see I have drawn the banana very lightly like this you can also draw the banana with a very light pencil then I would like to tell you that for making this banana I used artist watercolor and I chose in medium yellow color that is gamboge hue and little sap green for giving some greenish touch to the banana and for making the shadow of the banana I will use little blue color Persian blue and little scarlet red color so here I started doing color first of all I applied gamboge hue that is medium yellow this is first tone I am doing if I will require little more dark so after drying this color I will do again so it's a very easy drawing it's not a very difficult drawing just you have to take care about the color tone color contrastness how much contrast I need to do how much thick color I need to do that's only so here I am going to put some green color and after applying the color with the wet brush I will spread it I will merge it and in the starting point of the banana here also I will put some green color then again same practice I will spread it with the help of wet brush So here you can see that some uh, raw look is giving due to this uh, green color and at the side also I will apply some light green color so that will differentiate, differentiate the color between the top one and side one because obviously if this portion in this is in the side so there will be some shadow and upper one should be highlighted so I applied some light very light color that is green color I'll wait for a few seconds and then I'll apply little thick yellow color so that I can make the banana very realistically
now again I will apply some light green color at the side After that, I'll give some texture on the banana. You might see that uh, there is to be some dark spots and scratches on the uh, banana. For that, I will take brown color and I'll mix the color. Then I'll make brown color like I will take scarlet red color, little quantity and the Persian blue. And how I will apply the color if I'll take the dip I'll dip my brush in the color so it will come like thick color so what I will do I'll touch the color and I'll try to remove all the color from the brush on the brush uh, on the palette only I'll rub the brush on the palette and whatever the color will be remain on the uh, brush that will give a dry look so like that I'll do the color of this brown color so that will show some scratches on the color or some spots after that somewhere I'll give little dark tone of the brown color in some or other place, places some spots that will give a naturalistic look that will give a realistic look because obviously when you are going to purchase one banana so you will not get a fresh like it, you, it will be fresh but you will not uh, get the cover is very fresh it, some scratches will be there and that those color looks like brownish or blackish and for uh, depicting the side uh, side portion and upper portion I'll draw some dots on the middle on the line of the side banana some dot is dotted
now i'll make some shadow also for making the shadow i will use persian blue and i'll mix a little quantity of scarlet red and i'll rub the brush on the side of this banana like this you are, you are going to get a, a realistic drawing because uh, whatever we are making so that object will have one shadow also so we have to definitely we have to show the shadow also by which it will sh is sh uh, show like uh, 3d look it will give like 3d look So students you can see that 90% the drawing is complete just we need to give some more touches wherever we need on the spots or on the shadow wherever if we found somewhere is something left so we have to complete it. So students you can see that this drawing is giving a 3D look now after completing this shadow. <laughs> Keep in your mind that after making this shadow just you have to merge uh, the sides of the painting where you, are, where you have made the shadow. We have to move our wet brush without color only water on the side so that uh, they should not look like hard colors so our painting is approximately ready just you practice at home follow all the steps and i hope you will make a perfect drawing so take care bye bye stay stay home stay safe